here's what happens when you um, are trying to do things late night. You do not hit the right button and you do not record the cutting of the, um, of the coffee soap. <laughs> so I've already cut it all. There it is. Except for this one blob here, which I will go ahead and cut for you. Um, and then I'll just show you the pieces. And I looked at the video and realized it wasn't recording um, while I was explaining to no one but myself um, that this was a total coffee soap made with, um, I just took distilled water and brewed it to make coffee. And then the, the lye water was completely made with coffee. So this is a true coffee soap and it is an exfoliating soap. You can see the coffee um, grinds, which I think I showed on the video. This is all I have left that I didn't already cut because I thought the video was rolling and it wasn't. But this really did turn out really neat. The swirl turned out awesome. The smell is amazing. I mean, if you like coffee, oh my, this is so awesome. Um, I haven't made a true coffee soap before with a coffee fragrance oil. Um, I did make like a hot, hot, hot apple pie and coffee or something like that last year, um, but never one that was totally made with the fra coffee fragrance oil. And then um, I did have coffee grounds in that other one, but I made this one totally with coffee. Um, the water portion. So anyway, you can see the mica line here. Some of them turned out straight. Some of them turned out jaggedy when I was um, you know, stabbing down in there on the video, that's what marks it made. And then, then part of it, you know, came out straight. So really a neat effect. I love the way that came out and I love the way the swirls came out. I wonder if because it's made with coffee and because the fragrance oil has some vanilla in it and is a very dark fragrance oil, I wonder if this lighter part where I put the titanium dioxide is going to stay lighter. I'm hoping that it stays that, you know, that tan color. It could turn brown on me, we'll see, but that's not gonna take away the beautiful smell. Um, look at that. I really hope it stays that lighter color so that that comes through. And I'm sorry that I pushed the wrong button on the video player. Too many things, too many things. Love how these swirls turned out. Um, anyway, so this is what it turned out, guys, and this will be ready in about six weeks. I have a feeling when I post this, I'm gonna get a pretty good response, so I think that I will go ahead and order another batch of this fragrance oil and get another batch of this going. Um, even though we're gonna be coming out of winter by the time this is actually ready, which was my hesitation. I actually get requests for this all year long. So to me, it's more of like a wintry soap, but I guess people drink coffee all year long and the caffeine and everything in the coffee is invigorating um, to the senses and it's good for the, for the skin, the caffeine is. So I probably will make, turn around and make just another batch when I get some more of this fragrance oil so anyways coffee soap i'm really happy with it i hope you um are liking it let me know what you think please comment subscribe to the channel and find us on facebook and guys thank you so much for watching one mustard seed soaps i hope you have a blessed day